Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam from MobileTechVideos.com. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Eclipse ROM for the Galaxy Note. Alright, welcome back guys. We're going to jump right in. I'll fire this puppy up. This is Eclipse ROM version 2.0 and this one is brought to our device by Manel Scout for Life. This guy has been crazy busy uh, bringing a lot of stuff over to our device. I put on the custom boot animation in the uh, thread there it talks about it. Now this is brought to us by Manel Scout for Life, like I said, but he is not the developer. This is originally a uh, Nexus 7 ROM, and you can check out the original thread. And that is brought to us by Nitroglycerin33. And there will be a link down below to find this ROM. And then within the, uh, the note section of XDA and within the thread you can find a link to the original thread in the Nexus 7 development which I'm actually thinking about throwing this on my Nexus 7 and checking it out so if I do that guys I will make a video to show you what it looks like there but like I said this is Eclipse ROM it is based on AOSP with a couple of cool little tweaks added to it check out the thread for a full list. I won't go into all the details because I've been known to just rattle on, but it is really cool. 4.1.2 I believe. Let's go check that out real quick. Yeah, 4.1.2. It's running the Cyanogen Mod kernel, uh, but if you want to overclock you can try the Dagger 8 kernel which uh, once again also a link in the thread so this is just really an awesome ROM you guys know how I feel about jelly bean ROMs on the note I've in the past I've talked about how they're just not reliable uh, yet and so I always keep going back to ice cream sandwich ROMs but this thing has been great. I haven't had any problems with this. I've been running it for about two or three days now. And everything is working awesome, flawlessly. Let's get out of there. Um, everything is just popping in. We still have little issues, like uh, the only touch sound is only on the menu button. It's not on any of the other buttons. Things like that. Um, when I first flashed this, once again, sound was not working. The touch, as far as the touch sounds, weren't on. But, as always, you just do a volume up, volume down, and it kind of triggers them, and they come right on, and I haven't had any problems since then. Uh, I really like the layout of the settings menu here, where you have your general settings, interface, input control, launcher, lock screen, performance, and you can go in here and play around with all these things. And everything is customizable. You see at the top there, I put my clock in the center of the, the status bar. I like that. Uh, you can change the look of your clock. You can change your toggles, the order of them, you can get rid of them. I really like this order. These are the only ones I really use, so kept it like that. You got themes here uh, that you can load on. Cyanogen Mod 10 themes. I've got this Cobalt uh, that I put on here and this is my favorite theme that I've seen. Uh, if, if you're looking for a cool theme, check out the Cobalt theme. It's really awesome. You can play with the performance, but keep in mind that you need to tread lightly in this area unless you know exactly what you're doing. 
but just everything has worked really great. I haven't had any problems, no complaints at all. It comes with Nova Launcher by default. CRT off animation, your lock screen completely customizable. You can move your clock where you want it. You can set up weather. You can customize these quick launch icons. Google Now is working fine. What time is it? The time is 9.08 a.m. Who won the presidential election? There you go, election results. Mr. Obama has won, so congratulations to him. Extended power menu, which is customizable as well. So there you go, guys. Go out and grab that Eclipse ROM if you're looking for a Jelly Bean ROM for your Galaxy Note that works and is stable and is just awesome.